Welcome back guys to the Splatoon single player as we continue on with our missions here in yet another world. We've made it so far, we've come from all the way down there, up there, around there. And now we are in a, well, two-pronged place, that's for sure. We've just defeated tons of Octo Snipers, so what we're going to do now is face spinning spreaders. Merry go round and round! Let's find out what this mission has for us. What puzzles do you have inside? We'll just start ways. That music's a bit crazy, isn't it? It's a spreader! It is indeed! Ow, I got hit. Start already, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, I can just, just dodge through and take that, it's fine. And of course, we know that we can stand on the spreader, so as long as I'm jumping and shooting downwards, I shouldn't be ink hurt either. Oh, oh, okay, there's one on the end as well. That's not so good for us. Think I can get the nade to stay there? No. What, what if I throw it there? That'll work. Right, balloon above us. And it seems we need to get on the spreader if we want to check out that far away, so... We'll do that indeed. So if we want this balloon, not that it matters if we get every single balloon. There we go. Right, nothing hidden there on that snaky path. As we move on to some wall jumping, it seems. Right. I was wondering if I could paint that already, but it seems, to be honest, we probably should just get as close as possible first. Hello, Octocopter. Nice to meet you. Let's paint that spreader and go get ourselves some armor. Some nice easy jumps there. Some random stuff is low down, though. Okay. Well, that spread, spread is already painted, so we can get onto that. Let's jump over here. Get firing galore! Man, that nearly knocked us off, in fact. Right, there's something over there. Can I reach that from here? Oh, wait a second, I need to paint this. There's no way I'm making it further unless I paint that. So, round to go again. Let's make the spreader's jobs more useless. There we go, we'll take that. And then move back a bit, because if anything, that's got to be our scroll. Right, so we've painted part of the wall, and we get up and in. Right, collected, no problem. And now we're back over here, are we? So let's get on the spreader yet again. And get moving, right. So we could use the well, uh, to be honest, it's not that fast enough that it's going to stop me. So here we go. Blasted straight up and through. Let's cover a little bit of the wall, so even if we miss... We can grab into it. Oh, there was stuff there. There's little hidden orbs. We can't really bounce back, though, so we missed three there. There must be enemies around. Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to hide, use the spreader, attack, and use the spreader properly. It's our lovely little Taker's Places device. So what's going on down here, then? Nothing much, apart from the fact that we can jump down. Right, that wasn't- Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that jump on then. Right, let's ink the surface. Right, no balloons to get here. We just want to make it over to the other side nicely enough. Which shouldn't be too hard for us, though it does seem like a little bit of a launch jump wouldn't be too bad. And we're going up. Oh, joy. Yeah, going up silently would be quite nice. There we go. If we hide here, this guy will have no clue. Right, a key. Oh, hello. Um, I want that. Let's get on the next one. We can always join up in the center after all and get the key. Was that Captain Cuttlefish impression? I do not know. I'm just too busy paying attention to the mechanics of the level. So many pitfalls, so many instant doom kind of moments that could happen here. Right, so we've got that. If we move over to the center and then just jump over, we should be fine. And then we've got a little bit of a jump. There we go. Not a problem. Right, so paint as much as that as we can. Jump inside. Done and done. Well, that brings us to the final checkpoint. Hello, horses that we can't paint. Two octolings detected down there? Oh, really? Whereabouts? Do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint a little bit of terrain beforehand with some nades. That probably won't go too badly for me, if you know what I mean. Right, where is it? Well, that one's already in the pink. 
so it's doomed. Alright, that one, however, has advanced on me gloriously and broke the armor already. That nade took it out. Nice. It's that kind of flicking motion it does, like that. It's very hard to do, apart from that, but it seems to do it with no problem whatsoever. So we're going to grab ourselves all the goodies around before we go anywhere. Well, that would have been useful a bit later. We got Bomb Rush, by the look of it. Alright, so let's use this to get going. And if you're wondering what the special does... I can throw multiple bombs quite easily. So here's a little tip, I think as long as the special's still running, we get the bonus for it at the end, which meant I could show you quite nicely. Bomb Rush, you can just send bombs everywhere for the duration, but it's horrible when you run out and you throw that one extra bomb, you run out of ink, and then you, well, they're out of ammo. Uh-oh, if you don't get them, you're kind of doomed a little bit. It's midsummer every day at the Boyer Base. Ultra Mega Hypercell! Everything's a must-buy. If you want to be the freshest squid in Inkopolis, you cannot miss this incredible shop opportunity. Race down to Boyer Base today. Okay then, sir, I will. We'll buy ourselves some nice shoes and stuff like that. I'm quite set with my costume now. That stealth squid is really good, but... Here we go then. Nice! This rate will have the great zap fish in no time when we completed mission 18, that's for sure. So now it's time to launch through the floor and into mission 19. Tumbling splatforms, the twists and turns of fate. Okay, it looks more arena like to start off with, and we're nice and yellow. Firing out that custard. Custard squid, taste just one. Hello, there's a bad guy on that tumbling platform. Is there a bad guy on this side as well? No, well, the platform can tumble all at once as far as I'm concerned. I can jump into it whenever I want as well. I think we can already kind of guess the kind of mechanics that might work. Can I get you from here? There we go. That might work for a secret round here is that underneath a tumbling platform or something like that, might be our scroll, so we've got to really keep our eyes out this time and go slow. Right then, let's just paint, paint, paint. That should get me across, easily able to fight you. Anything going on apart from that? Doesn't seem it, there's ink dropping off however. Right, but there we go, we can get up there, good. What's this then? Armor's never a bad thing to have. I think the scroll would be there. Now, somewhere around here might be more likely. I don't know. I'll just keep checking and be aggressive. That'll pull you out this side? No, it didn't, actually. Well, we can easily sneak up on you. Ink is good. As long as we've got ink, we can go anywhere. We can see all roads and avenues. All right, so we need to get up, and then we need to be able to ink across fast enough to get up here without being tippled off. Which worked out quite well, I've got to say. Fast and speed, aggressive, aggressive. Alright, now this might be a bit more of an issue. Might have to paint this for a bit longer. And then you've got to paint that bit as well. Well, let's see what we can do at the moment. Well, I can kind of wait in here and wait for the next top bit to appear. And then, oh, I actually managed to just launch myself up, which... In squid form was not so good because I might have just fallen through the grate to my complete and utter demise. Oh well, everything's working fairly well, you gotta say. Jinx. Alright, if the incline gets too steep, you'll fall off. I probably guessed that much. Alright, here we go. Um, yeah. Kind of got myself in a bit of trouble here. Ah! Oh no! Well, aggressive doesn't always mean good. We could have just walked along the path after all a little bit more. We could have just walked over when it reached a certain incline. Well, either way, one thing we could do to do this, now that we've lost a life, is just paint a bit. Come to that nade, did it actually fall off in the end? So once we've painted most of it, we can kind of give it a good launch and go whenever we want. So here we go. This time... We're off. And we're off all the way back. 
And then we're off on again. And then we can just jump over. That's kind of an easier way to do things as well, isn't it? Right, up we go. And finally we made it. Phew. I didn't see anywhere that might be hiding a scroll though, however. That's not too good. Well, life lost. Life regained. We'll take that and run. Right. Enemies on either side, but we've got enough ink to do the sneaky sneaky. I'll paint a little bit there. That's not so bad. Well, that won't paint anything. What was it doing there? Right, we know there's an enemy coming, so we'll take you out. Hup. Hup. Hi, bomb. We got the other bomb as well. Great. So, nothing hiding backwards here. Phew. Up and over we go to the final checkpoint and we still haven't found anything yet. That's a bit disappointing. Hmm. Right, where am I looking then? Well, first of all, this platform's going at very weird angles. So we're just going to let it turn. It's already inked up. It's not so bad for us. So what we'll do is we'll go here. Hopefully, oh, oh, that kind of did mess with me a bit. And drop ourselves back down. Oh, we've got loads of things on the platform there, have we? We can make ourselves up. Oh, I only messed up again the same way. Go on, make the jump. Well, it doesn't seem to be much back there. Oh, we can hit these. Cool. Hmm. Where is the scroll? First of all, we'll drop... Oh, there we... Ah, I think we found it. Back behind us. There's probably a guy over here as well if there's one there. So let's take you out and finally get ourselves what we've wanted. What keeps delaying us in worry and worry and more worry. Oh, we missed these. Hmm. Missed, I say not. We'll sort this out. Oh, we'll, we'll fall down. Come on, balloons. You're going to be ours. If we reach a thousand on our total here. There we go be able to get another gun upgrade but this looks like it's going up and up and up it seems to me as well that we need to kind of go on the ends a little bit every so often we can keep changing I guess there's one way to look at it um yeah this doesn't look so fun uh, and we haven't inked so high enough yet yeah, there we go uh, just back carefully few all right we need to ink up there and that will enable us a path over. Then get on the end again. And up we go. Wait a second. Because we're going to go for this angle. And then we're going to paint, 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 paint as fast as we can. And make it to the zap fish. Ah, so that's how you climb up. Yes, very, very dangerously. Whew, tumbling platforms proved a challenge, that's for sure. But to complete it is. Scroll and all. Research notes are ours. Is the big fluffy one providing shelter for the little fishy one? Or is the little fishy one manipulating the big fluffy one? We may never know, and perhaps it doesn't matter. Perhaps it doesn't matter indeed. As we move on to stages 20 and 21 next episode, we're about 200 away from another weapon upgrade. Oh, you got one. You're one pretty fresh squid. I am indeed. I'm super fresh. So I'll see you next time for more Splatoon single player. Getting closer to a boss at this rate. Bye-bye.